I would like, as it's Christmas, to talk about what a lot of people um, think is the meaning of Christmas. Jesus. Um, a lot of people still say now that um, Christmas is Jesus's birthday, which is wrong. The headmistress of my son's school, right, in front of my seven-year-old son, my, the real reason of Christmas, the birth of baby Jesus. Now, it was only decided that Jesus Christ was born on the 25th of December, 400 years, 400 years after he's crooked it. You've got a one in 365 chance that it is actually Jesus's birthday. This chap here, whether he existed or not, right, I think he's the most misrepresented person in history. Sorry, I am wearing a Christmas trimming around my neck, what can you do? Most of the world sees this as a sign of safety, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, around one. No, one of the most core sacred geometry things, 12 around 1, with astrology and, and all of this sort of thing, so I think. This was made, right, as a symbol of control. A, Jesus didn't die on a cross, because at that period in time, people were crucified on poles, and it says in the Bible that he was put to a stake, right? Another thing, right, uh -uh. what else can we think about Jesus? Well, if you are a Mormon, you can find something out in Jesus was ginger. He wasn't Middle Eastern at all. Even though he came from the Middle East, he was actually ginger. A ginger American dude, look. Typical Jesus thing. All right. Love versus money. Which one's Jesus? Love. Which one do we worship? Money! So, one of Jesus' core central teachings, are you seeing where I'm coming from here? I was watching a programme the other day, um, it was Michael Palin, the Himalayas, and he was talking to this chap while they were driving along. And he said, so what proportion of people here are, are Christians? And he went 99%. And he's like, cracky, that's a lot, like, you know, what, how's that? And he said, education. Um, since we've had contact with the outside world. So basically, right, as a Christian's white man who speak with fucked tongue, we go around everywhere, colonise it, and we tell every single person that Jesus is the way and the word. And they believe us because we use something that can totally mind fuck them. What is it? Since Jesus came into the world in the last 2,000 years, that it's got better, right? Because we still worship money, the opposite of God. Jesus came to teach us that, if you believe that he was real, right? And we didn't listen. We haven't been saved. Basically, this man was born so that he could get killed, so that we didn't have to do anything. We are all born wicked. Right? Because God didn't have the intelligence to just go boop, with the Adam and Eve plans and start again from scratch. Does that make sense to you? Doesn't make sense to me. So what exactly is it we've been saved from? Right? And what is it exactly that he's going to do if he comes back? Because he saved us already. We're all saved. Because he died. A man dying does not wipe out sin. Have a word. What's he coming to save us from? Satan. What Satan? Looking money. Which is the opposite of love. And Jesus came to teach us this and to say, don't do that. This is bad. If we do share some faith, we can get along and we can have everything that we need because people are innately good except for the fact we're programmed to not be and this man is part of how they do it absolutely no proof even that he existed 
And my children are both being told that it is the truth. And when I sat there, I realised why our world is in such a bloody well state because we received exactly that education. Giving to others before yourself. That is what Jesus is about. That's not what we do. That's not who we are. We're narrow-minded, bitter, twisted, judgmental creatures who hate. That is what this was written for. And it wasn't written by Jesus. For all of this, right, until Jesus pips up. The Messiah's on his way. There will be a man who will be born of the bloodline of David and he's going to come and save you all. As we've obviously all been saved. You've only got to look at the news to see we've been saved, didn't you? Joseph was of David's bloodline. But Jesus wasn't Joseph's. So surely... Because Jesus wasn't made of Joseph's sperm, how can Jesus be of Joseph's bloodline? I'm seen evil. I'm the evil one. Believe these guys. Because they're telling you the truth. But they're not telling you the truth. They're telling you what they want you to believe is the truth and saying that it's the truth. There's a difference. But we're believing them because it starts when we are four years of age. And none of us, not one of us, has the option to not hear it. My boys are seven and nine years old. And for many years they've known about Jesus. I've not wanted them to know. Because I know that it's a mind control tactic. Whatever you do, do not think for yourself because somebody has come and done it for you. And even if you don't believe that, it's going to come back and do it again. So you saved anyway, right? We say from the past, from the future. Listen to the logic. It is so that we don't do anything now. Because it's been done in the past, it's going to be done in the future. It's somebody else's problem. Somebody else who isn't you and whoever you believe it is you have been taught to believe that it is that thing to stop you seeing what god really is because god can be found in silence god can be found in darkness when you shut your eyes there is no right from when time began it's like oh yeah well it's gonna come you're gonna be saved everything's gonna be dandy right then what happens when he shows up there's a m even move around for the man that lets the wise and knowledgeable go find him right it's that big a deal and when does it get written about hundreds of years after he's dead look at the logic right of the words of Jesus written by people whose descendants didn't even know him how can you write down with any measure of certainty what that person was about? When we decide to open our eyes, open our minds and find out the truth and stop just believing something because somebody has given it as dressed in fancy wrapping and told us that it's the truth. And because they are bigger than us and better than us and have more money than us, we have to believe. Oh, well, actually, because they tell us it as fact from the age of four, we have to believe it. I'm evil for pointing out that Jesus ain't ginger, for instance. I am so, so sorry. I know I've offended people, but this stuff has got to be said, man. I can't go through life just trying to keep everybody happy because this is one of the core mind control techniques that they use on us. Because we are loving creatures in our heart. You know, we're all sucked in. We want to love. We want to be seen as loving. The thoughts and feelings that make us good people, they have used against us. And we've let them because they did it when we started school and told us truth, truth. The real meaning of Christmas. That man, his birthday was decided 400 years after... It wasn't even written about, despite how much he was 
anticipating at least a hundred years after he died. Where's the logic? Everybody who was able to write at that point in time should have been responsible for keeping that knowledge alive. I merely want you to question the validity of what you have been told you're not allowed to question.